Hey there guys, Bruce McGee here. And this video is going to be quite a bit different from others I've done. Uh, something I really wanted to do and the timing seemed perfect given the date that this video will come out. Uh, but it, it really starts with a backstory. Um, in 2001, I was just out of college. It was middle part of the year sometime. And I was introduced to a girl, set up on a date with her. Uh, her name was Lynn, and we were very compatible. Uh, we fell madly in love. And she was probably one of the nicest, sweetest people I've ever known. Never heard a person say anything bad about her. Always helpful, always kind. Uh, a great influence on me. Um, probably my complete opposite in attitude in a lot of ways. And we had a wonderful relationship. Unfortunately, um, in 2002, she passed away of a genetic condition or a genetic disease. It's called primary pulmonary hypertension, which was a devastating thing for me. Uh, it took me many, 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 many years to work through my grief and anguish and begin to function normally, begin to feel like a normal human being again. It had a profound impact on the direction of my life and probably just about every facet of my life. This date is, is the anniversary of her passing and it means that I want to bring you guys a more personal message. It's something I tell my personal friends all the time and it's something I'd like to pass along to you because it's important to me. Think about those people in your life you care about. Your friends, your family, your spouse, your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the case may be. And try to remember to tell them every day how much they mean to you. Do it, and trust me, you'll feel so much better for it. It's such a simple thing, and it's something we don't do often enough. I'm guilty of it. And the thing is, is life can change so fast and so dramatically, and you never know when it's going to happen. And so to take the time to tell the people that we love what we think of them and that we care about them is so super important. And I just now feel confident enough in my speaking skills, my video making skills, and, and with this subject to pass that message along to you. The second thing I want to talk about that ties in with this topic, and it's something that has become more prevalent in our society, uh, on the internet, and in media, is mental health. When Lynn passed away, I dealt with it on my own. I was in agony for probably three to four years, and it was by far the stupidest thing I have ever done, and I've done a lot of stupid things. It's something somebody should never go through on their own any kind of mental trauma or anguish or grieving and so i am here to tell you that if you're having some kind of difficulty be it depression be it the loss of a loved one please do me a favor and find someone to talk to it's such a simple thing but so difficult to do and yet it's what anyone in that position needs to do because there is hope there is light at the end of almost any tunnel. I can tell you this from personal experience. It's something I know, unfortunately, far too well. And to go it on your own is a mistake. It slowed down my recovery time and my overall well-being tremendously. And I would not recommend anybody try that. And it doesn't have to be complicated. It, you can go talk to a friend, you can go talk to a family member. If you're religious, go talk to a clergyman. It doesn't necessarily need to be a professional. That's where I tend to differ from some other people. And I also know that other people have said this, but I just felt that if at some point here, I didn't take the time to pass along these two messages, I would be doing a disservice to Lynn and other people I've lost in my life, and I'd be doing a disservice to myself because it's something that I really know something about to the bone and wanted to talk about. So thank you guys for watching slash listening to this. Until next time, guys, and I'm out of here. See you, people.